this is an obvious one that was directly linked to the trouble that I'd been through the last couple of years. As I say, I didn't want to fill the album with it because it was just be overkill. Um, but there was obviously going to be some, you know, some influence. So, so I wrote uh, the lyrics for that to to his astonishing music. And there's a there's loads of great riffs on the album, but there's one riff in that song when you hear it, you just go, Phew. it's so heavy and it's so awesome. It's just it's incredible. And then I ruin it by singing on it. Uh, I, I, let, I let him play it a couple of times and <laughs> I destroy it. Um, but yeah, that was, you know, at some point I needed to write about my experience and I chose that particular piece of music to do it on. Um, we're not doing the video for it. We've handed over video duties to that song to Nuclear Blast. Um, we've seen some of their lyric videos. We like what they do and we, we don't have the time anyway. We're already on with, we've just done one video. We're doing another video. You do the next video. We, do, we, we can't do all of them. Um, so we'll see what that comes out like. They've also got the lyrics. They know what it's about. I don't know how they're going to treat it. I hope I get to see it before it gets treated, um, or certainly before it gets released, um, just in case it's a bit too close to the bone. We knew we were recording enough material for an EP because we'd been over to Germany to see the boys and they said, if you can do about 80 minutes, that would be great. We can have an album and an EP. Brilliant. So we did that. But we couldn't decide which songs were going to be on the album, which one were going to be on the EP because we loved all of them. It was difficult for us to pick. And when we, Andrew would pick some and I'd say, no, no, that's got, that's got to be on the album. So I'd pick some and they said, no, no, that, that one's got to be on the album. So let Nuclear Blast pick three songs and that can be the EP. So she's on Macabre Cabaret. And it's because when she was a lot better, we went to the studio. Um, we must have gone for a purpose. We kind of just gone to show her the studio, but we must have went for a purpose. I might've had some vocals to finish off. And while she's there, I said, get in there, you can do some screaming and shouting. And she just did a bit of la 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 la. But when you capture a little girl doing that and then put some reverb on it and then slow it down a bit, it's really scary. So we stuck it on Macabre Cabaret. So, uh, so yeah, she's, she, she's actually, she's going to be on it. It's really low in the mix, but we know it's there. It's, it's quite nice to have her there. She's not getting a credit though. <laughs> we, wouldn't, we wouldn't want to go that far. <laughs>